So today I'm going to make some uh, chili oil based on some great olive oil. So what you're first going to do is turn the stove on 50% uh, of maximum heat. And uh, what we need is uh, two deciliters of uh, this olive oil. And then we need half a tablespoon of uh, anise. And I'm just going to put it down. And after that, we need uh, one tablespoon of uh, cinnamon. And what I'm going to use now is uh, one tablespoon of uh, chili habanero. Make sure that it is powder. You can also just use chili powder, but I like this chili habanero powder, so I'm going to use that instead. So, uh, one tablespoon of this. And the next ingredient that we are going to use is the chili flakes, but uh, do not put it in the saucepan yet because then it will get uh, burnt and that's not nice. So stir everything together that you have in here. And then it is time for it to cook for uh, 10 minutes. And while it is cooking, make sure to stir it so it doesn't get burnt. And by the way, this smells amazing. So I think this is going to be uh, really great. And uh, this chili oil, but you can use it on your food and uh, maybe on your sandwich also. I think uh, this is going to taste great. So it's been 10 minutes now and it is time to drain the oil into something that uh, can uh, stand the heat. And I'm going to use this one and you can see it looks a bit dirty but that's just uh, color stains because this has been used for decades. I mean I, I got it from my mom and it still works. So let's drain it. So it is all drained now and now it is time for the last ingredients which is the chili flakes. And I am going to use uh, one deciliter of uh, chili flakes. And what you gotta do now is uh, let it cool for a couple of minutes and then just pour it down into a glass container which you can conceal. But I gotta taste it now. Really good, but really strong. I think that the uh, habanero taste and the chili taste really comes through. So this is a strong chili and uh, I like it. I really like this strong chili.